Good morning, grandkids. Since yesterday was my birthday, I will give you a birthday vlog today and show you some things that I got. First of all that I want to show you wasn't from a viewer, but was from a couple. I'm pretty sure it was from a couple of girls that live around here that like to come to my door once in a while and knock and just to say hi and chat for a minute. But yesterday, I had been to the post office and picked up some packages. And when I got home, I was over at the couch unpacking everything. Never heard a sound out in the hall or on my door. And all of a sudden, I heard a knock on the door. So I went to the door, and they had split. They were nowhere in sight. But on my door... There was some crepe paper fringe taped across the top of the door, and it was hanging down. And when I opened the door, this stuff blew, sort of blew in and scared me. And uh, taped on the door was happy birthday. And taped on the door was happy birthday balloons, two of them. And there was these cookies wrapped up in a Ziploc baggie, stuck down in a bag, hanging on my doorknob. So I thought this was really sweet of them. I am I just know that it was those two girls. Because I can't imagine anybody that lives in one of the apartments around here doing that. But there was no name on it, nothing. It was just a surprise. So I thought that was really sweet of them. And the cookies are good. I don't know if they baked them or if their mom baked them for them. So that, that was my real surprise yesterday. Now let me have a sip of my coffee. This box I got from Loretta and her friend Deb. And then the box. <coughs> I'm sorry, grandkids, that I <coughs> that I cough. Uh, in fact, one of one of you viewers said something to me about that the other day and uh, I really do apologize. My mic is very sensitive. It picks up things out in the hall whenever anybody's out there talking or walking down the hall. <clears throat> it's just that I'm sitting here talking and when I cough I forget to turn away from the mic. and I really am sorry. I'm going to try my best to get better. <laughs> at not doing that. Maybe this hot coffee will. <clears throat> I really have a bad time with keeping my throat clear. All right. So in Loretta's box, she sent me a, <clears throat> a note. Look at the top of it. Isn't that pretty? Happy birthday. And that it's a big cupcake, looks like. Or a fudge looking cake. Happy birthday, Shirley. Wishing you all the best for your birthday and every day beyond. <clears throat> because we know that you lived once in northern Arizona and miss it. Oh, actually, I lived in southern California. We gathered together a few things. I mean, Southern Arizona. Did I say California? My brain. Uh, we gathered together a few things that we hope will help you remember the state and to share a little part of Tucson with you. In the Life is Good box, you will find a colorful scarf depicting various Arizona art styles.
Isn't that pretty? I'll be, I'll be uh, doing this corner to corner and wearing it around my neck sometimes. A Tucson, huh? I can't even talk. A Tucson, Arizona t-shirt, because we live in Tucson. In red, of course, she said. And I'm glad because I needed another red t-shirt. So maybe I'll wear that next time I do anything on here. I wonder if I could get away with wearing it and that scarf tied around the neck of it or something. Let's see. The next thing is a, a clear bag with two kinds of mesquite tree seeds. The round seeded one is a velvet mesquite bean pod and the other is called a screw bean mesquite pod. You will also find the feather of a cactus wren in this bag. One of our favorite birds. The cardinals were not very cooperative for feather collecting. No, they aren't, are they? <laughs> uh, this devil's claw, I'm assuming that this is it. This is the, I have never seen this living out there. I never saw this, but look at this. That is so cool. Look at these claws and they're, and they're just, you can't pull them apart or you'd break the stick. But isn't that cool? I and mean, this is just sort of a fat stick. I don't know. It looks like it's got little uh, feathery things under it, but they're hard and sharp. This is a really, really cool plant. I've never seen it all the time. I Well, I only lived out there for a year, but I've never seen that. Um, then there's the seeds. Here, here are the seeds. This is going to take me all day to do this blog. I'm sorry. This is the, this is the fat one. It looks like a green bean pod to me, or, or uh, peas. This is the, this is the velvet mesquite bean pod. And these are, I can see why, the screw bean mesquite pod. These are j just twisted round, round, round like a, like a screw. <laughs> and then this is the feather from that bird. They make, isn't that pretty? They make uh, little nests sitting in the, these big mesquite these big uh, they're big cactuses big arms and, and these little birds make their nests right in there they can go in there and anything else would get stabbed with stickers so that's pretty cute but I love love this that is the most unusual, fearsome thing. Let me see. What else did she send? Hopefully still intact. <laughs> you also find a woody seed pod with two sharp claws. It's called Devil's Claw. Oh, that's Devil's Claw. Oh, okay. It's a native plant here in the Sonoran Desert. It's 
That's called Devil's Claw. Well, I can understand that, all right. Uh, there's a velvet bag. Inside the bag is a rock that we believe represents some of our favorite colors of Arizona. Here's the bag. And here's the cool, pretty rock. She knows I like to collect rocks. Isn't that pretty? That's about all the pretty colors of the desert out there, for sure. Oh, and she sent me a bar of dark, dark, lint, dark chocolate. Every time I buy me some these kind of chocolates, all it's always lit. They're so good. And then this big Ziploc baggie. Last but not least, there's a plastic bag with a branch from a creosote plant. We picked this just after the spring rain today and hope that when you open the bag you will smell Arizona even if it is completely dried up this is off the mesquite bush out there let me see if I smell Arizona oh I smell that mesquite bush yeah that's pretty cool yeah, it has come apart some, but that's okay. I wouldn't take it out of this bag anyway. But that's pretty nice. I wonder if when I do some more decorating on my wall, if I could leave this in the bag and tack it up somewhere at a strange angle or something. I shall see one of these days. Okay, the card is one that we found to add to your dragon collection. Let me see, where did I, where did I put the card? Uh. <sighs> Have a great birthday, Shirley. Sincerely, Loretta and Deb. All right, I think that I got one from someone like this before several months back. I had it sitting on one of my shelves for a while and I don't know where it's at right now. Isn't that cool? I love pretty cards like this <laughs> that are strange and unusual. I just, I really love this. Thank you so much, Loretta and Deb. I appreciate this immensely. That's a bunch of cool stuff from the desert. Thank you very much. Okay, it took me a while with this one. Sorry, guys. I still got more to go. Let me do my mail next. This is this is from Marjorie Marjorie Byrne. Dear Grandma Shirley, sorry I might be late for happy birthday. Actually, it came on my birthday. Hope you have a beautiful day. Also, a happy spring and happy Easter, Marge Burns. Thank you so much, Marge. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been in contact with you for a while. I'm going to get to that soon.
if this is the same large bones I'm thinking of. Thank you so much for that, and it was very pretty. This is from Carla Collier. I think that's C.F. Collier. And that's, that's the way it's posted on my comments on my YouTube channel. Look at the pretty cat. She looks so soft and fluffy. Hope your birthday is just like you. Am I soft and fluffy? <laughs> Perfectly wonderful through, the, through and through. Happy birthday. And it's perfectly like the cat's purring. Grandma Shirley, praying you have a blessed and happy birthday. Hopefully you get to do the things that you enjoy for a long time yet. Thank you for bringing the internet all good things. <laughs> Very nice. Blessings. C.F. Collier. That's what I thought. Your stories. Isn't that cute? Thank you so much. When I see C.F. Collier all the time in my comments, I forget that that first name is Carla. Then when I see Carla, as soon as I see Callier, or Collier, I think, oh, that's C.F. And this one is from Mary Lou Mamoni. I always pronounce that as Mamoni in my mind, even when I read it on my comments. I don't know if that's correct. Mary Lou. Today is more than just your birthday. It is? And I got these all yesterday on my birthday. Well, that's when I picked them up from the post office. It's a reminder of how much happiness, beauty, and love that you bring into the lives of so many simply by being yourself. Well, that's sweet. Happy birthday to our Skyrim grandma. Love, Mary Lou Mamoni. You'll have to, you'll have to tell me your how or accent how to say that sometime. Looking forward to your stories this year. Thank you. You know what, guys? I am too hot in this sweater today. <clears throat> Gotta have some more coffee. And this is from, this is from my daughter-in-law here. She, she likes to get funny cards. And she never thought that her mom appreciated them very much. But she knows that I love them. So she always gets me one. See this, see this. <laughs> Older woman doing these splits. Um, I, I couldn't do that. Anyway, it says, Mom, sure you can get down. Can you get up is the question. <laughs> I love this. All in fun. Love you. And signed it with my kids and their dog, Luigi. <laughs> I just love cards like that. Now, what's next? I'll do this. What's in this bag? Oh, this is from D. Corella. Oh. She's, the, she's the one that comes to see me sometime. I, will, I first want to show you her picture she drew. Of a little lady Khajiit. Isn't that good? She's very good at drawing that. Even even that lantern sitting down there is drawn really good. I love that. 
Look at the way she wrinkled the skirt over her tail. That's so good. Hey, thank you so I appreciate that more than the letter. <laughs> and look at this nice printing. Easy to read. For my old eyes. All right, let's see what she has to say. Dear Grandma Shirley, hope, hello, I hope you're doing well. I wanted to give you these chocolates in person when we met up, but it keeps getting put off and I don't want them to go bad. I really hope you like them. They are some of my favorites. Chocolate, I know I'll like them. Because they are all made without sugar. Oh, that's good. They, I, I can't imagine something really good and sweet without sugar. I know there's substitute sugars, but it's always hard for me to imagine. Uh, la, la, la. I don't. Th oh, you're just answering my question. <laughs> they use monk fruit to sweeten instead. Well, that's interesting. I got all my Christmas candy from this website. It's called Chalk Zero. Cool. I shall make note of that. I recommend them. The hot cocoa packet is from me. I am part of one of those skin care wellness MLMs that are all plant-based, so there's also no sugar in that one. They had them as a limited edition item, and I thought you'd like to try one. It tastes better in some type of milk not water i always mix up hot chocolate packets in milk instead of water i don't like any any cho hot chocolate in water they put organic organic cocoa bean ginger cinnamon and reishi mushroom in it and it has a calming effect I like to have it in oat milk. Is that what that says? Oat milk? I never drank oat milk. Hmm. And it has it has a reishi mushroom in it. Interesting. I don't think I ever had any hot chocolate that had any kind of mushroom in it. I'll be I I'll and if it's a calming effect, I'll drink me some of that this evening. Uh, while I'm sitting reading before I go to bed. I would have sent this box sooner, but I have been planning on making you another drawing. I gotta see where I'm at, because she told me not to read some place. All right, the rest is maybe a little more personal, so I won't read the rest of this out loud. I can't find where it, I think it was you that said don't read this section. All right, I will end that there. And uh, what am I doing here? All right, this is chocolate. Zero's milk chocolate hearts. They're gluten free. That's good. This is raspberry dark chocolate. This is strawberry cream hearts. And a little heart box. This is zero chalk milk squares. 
You can see I've been into this. <laughs> Sorry. And this is Chalk Zero Lava Cake Milk Chocolate. I had to try one of those. That's pretty good. Those are those are awfully thin to think that they have any any cakey thing in them, and they really don't taste like they do to me. So maybe it's a flavor thing in there. And then she sent me a little package of Happy Cocoa. So thank you, Danielle. Daniela. Danielle, I always call you. I appreciate it very much. It probably won't take me long to have those all consumed. All right, then I got something that I had told them. This is from a company. I told them not to send it to me when they first contacted me. Uh, they wanted to send me a keyboard. And I, I said, no, so many different companies have sent me keyboards and mice. I, I, I just have too many things. And uh, I've given most of them over to my son, and he just stores them. But they went ahead and sent me sent me one anyway. And it's from a company called KeyMove, and it's a mechanical keyboard, and it's all white which I couldn't use here because everything here is black. My, anyway, here is this. See how white, all white. I haven't even opened it to see what, if they have anything, any extras on it or anything. Because I got all kinds of stuff on my keyboard. Anyway, my monitors have black frames. My mic stand is black. My mouse is black. My computer is black with pretty lights in it. And my keyboard and, and the pad on it is black. So everything is black. I would not stick a white anything on here in the midst of all this black. So I I just want to let you know that I appreciate your concern in wanting to send me this. I do appreciate it. It's just that I will not be using it. I will give it over to my son, Anna. He will either store it in case anything I have breaks, <laughs> or he will pass it on to someone else who needs a keyboard. I think all my other sons have keyboards that are good, so that's what will be happening with this. But I appreciate you thinking of me, but I wish you would have paid attention to what I said. So thank you all very much. I really do appreciate the things that people send me. It's it's fun opening the packages, looking at everything, and eating everything that <laughs> they send me food wise especially chocolates so i will let you all go at this time i don't know how long i made this i didn't need i didn't mean for it to be this long-winded and uh, now i'm gonna quit this and i'm gonna uh, record a video to get posted for wednesday so i will see you all later bye bye grandkids <laughs>